One of the reasons why I love Adobe Illustrator is because I don't need to know the output when I first start creating, meaning I can create a flyer and then repurpose those elements for a direct mail postcard, for example. So in this video, I'll show you how you can reuse artwork just by resizing the canvas in Illustrator. Hello, creative. It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand. But first, how would you like a free cheat sheet? Woo! I thought so. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free Illustrator cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. You can reuse elements in Illustrator over and over again, scaling them up to be any size if they are vector-based. Meaning if you've created artwork with the shape tool, pen tool, laid in some text, not photos, basically everything but photos. Photos are reliant on the number of pixels it has. So that's when you need to know, okay, 300 PPI, if I'm going to be printing this image or low resolution if it's going on the web. But everything else can infinitely scale. So you don't need to know whether you're creating a flyer, a postcard, or a billboard for that matter. So the only time you need to consider if something will scale up is if it's a photo. Okay, so in this scenario, I do have a photo that I'm using, but if you look between the flyer and the postcard, it's identical. Here, there's a vector background, some text, and a silhouetted image. The entire thing was masked out with this rounded rectangle shape. To learn how to mask, check out my popular video right up here. But back to this video. Here is how you can resize your canvas or the overall artboard of an image in Illustrator. So here I am. I've created a file called Flyer to differentiate it from the other one called DM or Direct Mail Postcard. And in this one, Flyer, I can see the document setup right up here. If I click on that, I can ensure that the units are what I need them to be. So for print projects, I want it to be in inches, in the United States anyway. But if I were creating an interface for an app or a website or a kiosk or something that's screen-based, I would choose pixels. So in inches, I can click Edit Artboard. It highlights the canvas or overall size of my artboard. And it shows me right up here that it is eight and a half inches by 11 inches. So letter size, this was a letter size piece of paper that could be printed out, right? The other way to get to the artboard is right here with the artboard tool. With that, I can resize the artboard here manually, for example, or I can type in the new size of the canvas that I want. So if I were gonna create this postcard here, it's the same width but half the height. So you would just divide 11 and 2 to make it 5.5 inches. And when you click enter or return, why you see right there, my canvas is now in half. So I've already done that on this file that I have open. And you can see that in both of these files, I just have one artboard. I could make this one big file with two artboards, but this one, for example, is gonna be a postcard and this one's gonna be a flyer that I could then save out as a PDF. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I just made them their own separate file. So if I follow that step again one more time, you know, not having the artboard selected, but rather coming up here to document setup, clicking on that, ensuring that I'm in inches and clicking on the edit artboard or choose my move tool here and just click right here on the artboard tool. In the properties panel at the top, I can see that it is eight and a half inches wide by five and a half inches high. So if I wanted to change this one to be eight and a half by 11, I could type that right in here and click enter one more time. Right now, I think I am not showing my artboard. So with my artboard shown, voila. So you can see now they are 
the same. I happen to have not shown my artboards. So I select all, Command or Control A, and hit delete. You can see that the artboard on this one is half the size of this one. So whether you decide to make separate files or create multiple artboards within your file and resize each, you have the ability to reuse elements over and over again in a seamless fashion with one creation. The beauty of Illustrator. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends, and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl, with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.